das Album draußen hat und weil er damit auf Solo-Tour in Österreich unterwegs ist. Hi Chris, nice to have you here, good to have you here. It's always a pleasure. How are you? Very well. You know, millions of people here in Austria adore the sneaker bins and would like to have sex with all the sneaker bins and so on. But today mm -hmm. you're here because not of the sneaker bins, because you have your uh, solo stuff. Yes. Um, you released a record called I Am X. So how did it come? Um, it came quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. Um, just to go back to that point, does that mean to that the sex point? Yeah. <laughs> does that mean they don't want to have sex with me now? But I'm no, an I'm X. I'm sure they would like to have <laughs> sex with you. Oh, good. good so good. it's possible this week to have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not going to say anything more. Actually. Okay. Mm. Um, Actually, uh, the reason why I did it basically was some um, sneaker pimps were kind of we're still we're still together we're still working together yeah. um, but we decided to again to change the way that we work and and to try different um, production styles and different singers and all that kind of thing so we had a we had quite a lot of songs that we'd written or that I had written for yeah. for the next sneaker pimps album that we didn't use so. Um, I kind of developed them and I, I made them more personal and um, and this is the result. So what's the difference between uh, sneaker bin stuff and IMX music? I guess, I mean, per se, the, the main difference is really the lyrical content, I yeah. guess, is, is very much, very much about my Head and my my life and my relationships and my highs and my lows and yeah. whatever. Um, so it's it's kind of yeah it's very specifically almost painfully about me. Um, whereas sneaker pimps, you know, there's we write together, so you know there's a collection of of ideas going in. Um, so you can't really tell who it's about and whatever. So. Um, Yeah, it's more about me, and I guess the the, the production style is slightly more um, synthetic, <laughs> <laughs> um, to use a word that um, <laughs> somebody wrote. Um, um, yeah, it's a bit more synthetic. I tried to not to use as many guitars, yeah. and I tried to get away from writing on the guitar because that, that was finding that quite boring. Was it more satisfying to do a solo record? Um, in a way? Yes, in, in one way it's really satisfying, in another way it's quite confusing because you have, from day to day, you, some days you feel really confident yeah. and some days you feel you really have a lot of self-doubt. Yeah. Um, and on the days when you have the self-doubt, you think it's bullshit <laughs> and you know, on the other days you think it's the best thing. Yeah. So in, in that sense you have no one else to say, Yeah. It's good or it's bad, um, so you have to really just kind of work through it and get through it and make sure that you can convince yourself you're doing the right thing. Yeah, that's quite hard I when see. there's nobody else around. So I guess in a way this is me growing up and and leaving the gang. Yeah, yeah. Um, How long did it take to finish the record? Um, well, I can't. I guess I mean we we started the songs quite a long time ago, maybe a year ago, but I didn't really get get into the flow of, of writing and, and, and producing it until kind of the end of last, maybe December or yeah. whatever. And then I've completed it maybe two or three weeks ago. <laughs> really? Yeah, so... so very it, quick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Austria have been really quick to, <laughs> to, to put it out. Um, are the other sneaker bins I don't know, a bit, I don't know, pissed months. off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> a bit? Possibly. Um, really? But, you know, but the, I mean, what can you do? It's, it, it's not like we're in competition. I guess there's a bit of competition, but it <laughs> depends how hard you work. And if you really want it, you, you need to do it. You yeah. need to get out there and work and, and make it happen. And, And I was just the first to do that. Yeah. I'm sure that, I mean, everyone else will do that yeah. at some point. Because they all have all the, their own projects going on. And, um, 
But yeah, I guess they're a little bit pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> I see. Um, on the record is a, is a track called "Kiss and Swallow," mm. and it seems that you still deal, just like on the sneaker bims and music, on um, I don't know uh, topics like lust and love and so on. Mm. Um, so it seems that these typical rock and roll stereotypes are very important to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like I like kind of combining the those traditions, so yeah. to speak, with... And I guess you live these traditions. I have lived those traditions. I do, them. I do. Uh, now and again. <laughs> it depends what what mood I'm in, really, um, and where I am in my life. And, and sometimes I feel like, you know, really getting fucked up. And, yeah. and sometimes I feel like getting really fit. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, everyone's up and down, so I guess I've, uh, there's enough there's enough for, for me to write about. Yeah. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you still uh, you, you call yourself now uh, IMX and the record is called IMX. Why? 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 <laughs> Why not? Um, I don't know. There's there's a few reasons. The main reason is because our first album with um, uh, our first kind of project as Sneaker Pimps was called Becoming X. Yeah. And we've always been slightly obsessed with kind of algebra and, and variables and, and weird symbols and things like that. And, um, and this is kind of my statement of saying I have become that thing that we talked about and that we were obsessed about. And I guess it's, more, it's, it's sort of saying I have become an adult or I've, I've, gro I've grown up. And are you satisfied right now? I'm satisfied this second, this moment, okay. yes. I'm quite happy. Okay. Okay, so let's listen to your first single from the um, IMX record. It's called uh, Your Joy Is My Low. Yes. Um, maybe you could tell us uh, what this song is about. Um, yes, I can. Please. It's, <laughs> it's kind of dirty. It's, it's, about, it's about sex. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 a kind of a, about the balancing how in a relationship you kind of balance s how se how your sexual activity grows or doesn't grow yeah. and comes and goes and and if you get other people involved yeah. and if you don't get other people involved and just the way that sex is up and down and it's it, it drives you to do strange things and um, this is a, about a particular experience that I had okay. once. Okay, so let's listen to your trial is my low. Mm -hmm. 